Alright, so what do you guys want to do now? That's what happened. Uh, you pull out the dagger and see what happens to the box. Okay. Uh, the box closes. Hoping maybe that would go into his, into his blade and then gain his powers. <laughs> Curse people. Like, stick no. Nope. This some random. back out again. Nothing, Nothing seems to happen. No. And that's uh, because all the evil is in us now. <laughs> the box vanishes. And the, the box vanishes. vanishes. Well, at least we got rid of it. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to look at it. <laughs> um, He's got eye juice all over him. Yeah, we, we we need to get him fixed up. Just get him a patch. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, cure like wounds probably doesn't grow back an eye. <laughs> what if you oh, dump yeah. it in the socket? Uh, look at me, I'm hideous! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his eye explosion's got a mouth on it. all of us together right now. It would have really odd. Yeah, see? I mean, remove curse me. We all have a circus. Circus. <laughs> yeah. With the nose, no eyes. Yeah, my first question oh. is, is the coin. Yeah. Can, uh, put the coin on Darius' head. Put the coin on my head. Put the coin on my head. Putting it on Brother Darius' uh, head. <laughs> nothing seems to happen. My hair grows. <laughs> <laughs> Only out of the black dots. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps growing. It won't stop. Yeah, forever. Out of your forehead. Yeah. Five, five. No, my well, eyelashes good. just get real I'm long. I'm going to start walking around on my toes on that foot, hobbling around. Can you uh, feed the foot? Can you talk to the can foot? Can I talk out of the foot? <laughs> Does the foot talk? Is it part of mouth like... Do no. you lift your foot up and you see if you talk with it? Boy, as soon as I notice I had a foot on the bottom of my mouth, I wasn't stepping on it. Uh, well, no, it doesn't really hurt to step on or anything. Hello? So he holds his foot up and he's talking out of his, mouth, out of his foot. Who, who's Hello? talking out of his foot? You talk out of your foot, and your other mouth doesn't move? Hey, Jackass! That's so awesome. If you're underwater, you just keep your foot out. You can breathe through it while you're like, well, you can, you can talk out of it. You don't know if you can breathe out of it. This is the whole doesn't thing. Breathe. It's still so like my left foot. <laughs> well, Daniel Day Lewis. Quickly investigate the uh, glass blower's house. Uh, okay. Quickly now. Uh, just a lot of blood everywhere. That's about it. Uh, just send your foot in. Yeah. Then we'll check the hill by the oak. Okay. So you go up to the hill where uh, the wife was collecting herbs. Okay. And uh, you will see about five black patches where grass has died. Five. All around the, the tree. Size, so it's like, yeah. It's Coin deep. time. Coin time. <laughs> Stop. Well, it looks Coin like <laughs> it looks like the grass died after turning black. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, you uh, guys want to dig up the graves and see what's in there, or no? Right. Or do we what do we do with the box? Move on? The box is weird. The box, yeah, vanished. Oh, I've had to show. Nice opening of the box, there, Dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I propose a new party policy. When we find a box full of random evil, we don't open it. Ah, oh, come on. I, I, we, got, I, we got my little buddy. What are the odds we're going to find another box full of evil? It's only happened once Pretty darn per good. Game. <laughs> really? It's 930. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pull the dagger out, see if it does anything that did black. I didn't realize that I was using that trope that often. I'll have to yeah, keep that. It's only been twice. <laughs> What's that? I pull the dagger out, see if anything happens box. with the dead black grass. Doesn't seem to. Not and the coin's no. not doing anything up here. The coin's not doing anything either. In the dent, we find a uh, well house of boxes. Uh, I pull out, pull out the hammer, make sure nothing's about to. It glows a little bit. Mm. Uh, oh. Undead. So closer you get to each one, it's like woo. Maybe try to turn them. That's why she. That's why yeah. she. That's why she was going upside down. So she, she was Hold on. Take that ten foot pole and hold her right about what would be in the middle of the chest. Somebody pound on the top. Throw it down to the, the ten foot pole. <laughs> Get on my shoulder. <laughs> Alright, right. <laughs> bang, 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 b
about so, five feet down. Like he, he it feels, feet, it feels like dirt. Like and so. then there's a little bit of like soft resist, like spongy. Yeah. That doesn't feel like dirt or rocks. Smack it harder. And then you smack it harder. Uh, Jed, we hit gold. You'll see, you'll see the, the stick quiver a little bit. Nice. I say the clerics start trying to turn. stop. And it stops. All right, hold that hammer there. Doesn't glow anymore. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> the many uses of the ten foot pole. So yes, so you go around each of the five graves and you uh, bury the ten foot hole. Yeah, you, you stick it down. It shakes. Well, we don't want them getting out. We don't want to inform the town folk and have them come dig them up and find them dead. Coming out. So does that kill? Them? You believe kill them? it's stop blowing. Up yeah, it stopped blowing. Cool. Yeah. So yes, uh, five times. No more glow. No, I say we go to the... Or should we uh, dig up the bodies and try to ID them? I'll let that might help do that. because, the, I mean, at this point we've only got three bodies that we'd expect it. Right. That's so, only two, right? I said we yeah, turn it over to the authorities. No, the seamstress's body was spread all out through the seamstress's oh, house. Okay. Yeah, the only thing... Oh, oh, that's right. The there are four other bodies that don't know who they are from. I say we take the half orc because we need the boy. Houses turn it over to the mayor and the uh, constable. Yeah, the inform them of all our findings and what and hand it over to them. And tell them the whole story and uh, sounds like we need to ask for the priest who else has not been showing up to. Uh, and then let the town the take care of this, and we go back to the dungeon. And I stick my foot up and say, "Hey, can you remove curse this?" <laughs> what, what, your mouth? <laughs> On my foot. Um, if he does that, yeah, this mark just fails. Pretty hazardous for a fighter. The priest will try to remove stuff, but he's like, eh, it doesn't. <laughs> that pulls out a tool. Put your foot up your back. <laughs> <laughs> All removed. right, I removed your curse. <laughs> yeah, um, it doesn't seem. It just seems like it's like a physical part of you. Well. Maybe if it was, I don't know. Maybe it was placed there with an evil curse from the box. Chicks dig. It. it doesn't seem. You watch TV. <laughs> you know. You know you're sitting at the table with your one hand. Wow. Play footsie, a whole new thing. Play there. footsie takes a whole new meaning. I got yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Only mean to a foot job too. Nice. God. <laughs> Jesus. Go from toe job to blow job. <laughs> 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 oh, not yet, but that was close. <laughs> Woo, that was funny. Okay, uh, so what do we do? Um, so if you go to the priest and ask him who else has been missing, um, he he says that you know there's several people around town that have been missing. Uh, I, um, I would suggest you do a census of the town and figure out who's left. You guys pretty much tell them they're up on the hill yeah. by the by the old oak tree. We found, yeah. Yeah. They were undead, but they've been dispatched. But just no, they're dead. Careful they're re dead. <laughs> they're re dead. <laughs> they were undead. Now they're dead. Dead. We found okay. five graves by the old oak tree. See, that doesn't mean there might not be more graves I've somewhere else. Yeah. I've had the right hand middle finger. So you need to do a count. On the bottom of my left, or mouth on the bottom of my left. Here, here. It gives you character. Uh, characters are killed. <laughs> magic users are killed. Over, over. Yes, yes, yeah. I butcher magic users like nobody's business. Okay, so what do we do? Uh, so they, none of those can be removed by a curse or anything. It, it, he says it doesn't seem to be now. It just says it seems to be part of you. Did you try, damn it? Yeah, it seemed like it. He, he hummed a hummed a hummed a, you know, put his hands over you and stuff. Nothing seemed to happen. Uh, but pretty much we need a, re, uh, rest, a regeneration now. To, so I'm something like that, maybe. In your case, we'll have to cut your foot off and then regenerate. You just got a foot on your leg. Or, a, not a foot. A no. mouth on your foot. Yeah. I'm just saying I can't smell like that at all. You know, your, your nose is like, it looks like burnt raisins. Not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, his charisma's got to be down. Don't pick it too hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Your charisma's right. Will, uh, That's not playing heck. I will bind Jimmy that up. No, yeah. I will have to focus on keeping that mouth shut, right? Um, it's not that hard. <clears throat> All right. And I'll bind it up and put my boot back on. Okay. Okay. That works. 
Does it have teeth that I have to brush as well? It does have teeth. Damn. They're sharp. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> New attack. <laughs> a new attack. A new attack. attack ability. Yeah, you have a natural foot attack, yes. I'll take levels of monk. I'll kick people with it. So if I kick successfully, it gets a free bite. Well, look at this way. If you ever get tied up, man, you might go shoot Yeah, you can gnaw out. your way out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, at least you have control over it. It's not like a... the grunk oh, yeah, what's, what, are you worried about your stomach? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is it? Split? Is it this way? It's, it's sideways, so like it goes uh, all the way back to the like s- a center pouch. It's just like a. Does like, it open to your innards, or is it like a? a no, it's like pouch. sealed skin. Oh, okay. So like he doesn't Can open he it up. Can he carry it? I think I'm. I think Can he carry the coin in? It's oh, it's like a yeah, fat boy. Hide your gems in there. <laughs> oh, it's like a layer. <laughs> it's like a roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're telling... We You're right, I ran out of ideas by the time I got to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Uh, it's random. <laughs> so. We told the authorities, and now what? We're going to go to the hill? Yeah, I think it's safer, though. <laughs> <laughs> the town! <laughs> Fuck the town, man! Let's go to the hill! <laughs> we determined to go to the hill because it's the only safe place in the area to go. <laughs> Tarps Hill. <Yeah. laughs> it's the safest place in the area. <laughs> That crazy town stuff. Yeah. We also tell him to keep an eye out for that Icker stuff with the black snakes. Okay. Not him, right? Yeah, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, you're not out. Possible might want to get some people to go around, check houses underneath them for. Alright, you, you tell the priest that, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll say he'll do some sort of census and yeah. see what's going on in town. People that tend to be felt. Oh, I did spill game. oil all over the seamstress's house, so. No smoking. I was going to burn it down until I realized there was other buildings. Like you were going to burn a house down? Well, look, it was obviously cursed. What's wrong with you? Somebody was murdered in there. Um, well, you just clean it up and someone else will live there. Oh, yeah. That's Would you yeah. like to? Well, no. That's where we're moving exactly. the temple. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do need a headquarters. <laughs> no one's currently <laughs> occupying it. <laughs> I say we take the mortgage is paid. Probably <laughs> pretty cheap. Yeah, good deal on it. Mayor, we'll give you a gold piece for it. You'd have to pay us to get a gold piece for it. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys want to go to the hill, or do you want to buy it? real estate? It's not big enough for all of us. No, it, it's like the glass blower's house and the glass blower's house. And they're the across the street from each other. Yeah. The glass blower needs somewhere to live, though. <laughs> oh, it's called prison or an asylum. Yeah. Well, he's he's better. I try to go up to watch that family. Physically, I'm sure he's going to be pissed in the head at this point. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to have horrible nightmares. He won't be taking care of his daughter ever again. Yeah, yeah he might. I suspect he'll be spending most of the rest of his life in the at the farm? At the temple. Perhaps. The farm. Yeah. Well, if you ask the priest, he'll sell, he, he says that he can put in a good word with the mayor. Maybe you guys, when you, get, when you get back from going to the hill, uh, you can talk to the mayor about... Uh, oh, that sounds like a hint. Pop it to the dark cell. No <laughs> <laughs> way. We want to avoid going into the How dungeon. How does the priest know we'll actually got to go about He's, he's the one that sent us there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one that pretty much hired you guys. He gave you that nice little shiny am- amulet around your neck. Okay. So. All right, let's do it. Do you know this? Mm-hmm. Look at this one. At this point, we have what two extra amulets <laughs> so awesome. amongst the entire group? I think there's two extra amulets amongst the the whole group. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna keep doing that, or did we decide? No, we decided that each person has one, and that's it. And that... Well, yeah, each each character, yeah. Each and character uh, we're gonna say one. that the temple has they're fresh out. <laughs> Because otherwise you're gonna have like amulets like yeah like oh, I'm gonna be like Mr T. <laughs> yeah. You always say they're they're key to that individual character and if they die permanently. You, you just keep it. They need, you need re magic and re uh, attune to a new person. Yeah, you just keep killing the person right next to you and keep like yeah, yeah, yeah. We we realize that at some point it just gets ridiculous and silly. So yeah, one yeah. amulet per, per per character per character. Yeah. And it has a dead man switch on it. You drop the zero hit points and you haven't used it that day, it goes off and saves your life. 
I'll be studying for spells. I'm gonna be studying for spells yeah, today. We need to gotta fix some spells. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna go to? Oh, all of the clerics. If you're in town, you can go to the temple and pray. Yeah, that's where I'm going. You can get an extra spell that day. Extra spell. You know, because it's like that. the temple. You know, so instead of one spell, you can uh, have two spells. Temple, get a bow though. Nice. You can buy one, get one free. Yeah. yeah. Double coupon. Yo, Ebo, send another one down here. I think I messed up and I forgot to save with right or something. I don't know. I think I messed up. We'll see. So, um, it takes about a day if you leave in the morning uh, to get up to Darbs Hill. Um, we'll say it was kind of like afternoon. So, you guys will probably get there at nightfall uh, this night. Um, as you approach the hill, uh, it's just this massive hill, and there's all these ruined structures all over it. That's pretty much the outside of it. Hmm. And, uh, and the lines are like degrees of it. Yeah, this is basically yeah, it's like a topo map sort of. It goes up the hill. Um, what you guys do see is that the temple at the top of the hill has an eerie red glow to it. Oh, great. Uh, the gone neon. Is that like that before? <laughs> uh, no. no. Uh, it's had a dragon rested on it before, but it's never had this red glow to it. Well, this is probably better. <laughs> we'll find out. Well, then we'll kill it. Well, maybe the dragon, like, urinated on the temple and made this color. What color is the dragon? It was green, I the, believe. The, the dragon was green, yes. But no, I don't think I would be good. Oh, um, did anybody want to buy any maps or anything while you were in town before you left? Oh, hmm. You guys do have the first level map that you bought off yeah, of Manx. Yeah, we probably should I'm find the next. I'm going to go find Manx at the bar before we leave. Okay. Cyril, put him down since he's dealt with him before. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, you guys, yeah, um, we'll say retroactively you find Manx, uh, and do you want to buy a map or not? That's what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah, what do you got for me? Uh, he says he's got a couple levels, uh, 50 each. All right, I'm tired of fighting with you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, two, three. Uh, I got three maps with me right now. I got, I got a... Take some time and start uh, making copies again. But I, I got three for you. One's even a bigger map. Give you discounts. Show Still off. 50. All right. So 150 for all three. You want me to tell? Should we tell you what spells we? Oh no! As long as it's marked on your character sheet, that's fine with me. Hmm. All right. I pay him. Three more maps. Uh, that would be. So. You guys have the first map that Max gave you. That's two. And that's three. That's four. So you guys have those maps. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it, it printed weird. <laughs> yeah. But that's basically that. I don't know. Yeah. I thought he ripped me off. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't a map. This is <laughs> all map this. There are more maps from that jerky. Yeah. Old Mags charge you 50 each. What? I got him. I got you know him. No, we're going to make maps ourselves. That's Tim's way of saying that making maps is a pain in the ass. <laughs> and if you're willing to spend it, I'll give you the maps. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, and four now. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. I should last this. Quite some time. Quite some yeah. time, yes. I get into about two or three rooms at once. Mistaken ones, what? Six get togethers to get through just the surface? <laughs> Pretty we much, still yeah. We got through the surface, right? We still got the last well, no. one building. Well, well. Um, yeah, if you, it's pretty quick that you guys look around. Uh, they're pretty much empty and ransacked. Okay. Is there any in seven? Uh, so we went through everything except for seven. Uh, yeah. The, the, three is. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's right. The three well, is empty. Three is uh, empty. A seven is you haven't gone through seven yet, but it has an eerie red glow to it right now. You guys have approached. It took you all like you guys probably did this thing at the town during the morning. Looks like afternoon. You get there by nightfall. The temple is glowing like an eerie red. Uh, you can see that from the outside, or you can see that from miles away. Well, it's throwing a red glow over the entire hill. 
blue one. I go to one of our safe houses. And... It didn't do that before, did it? No. Yeah, nope. it didn't That's have it. the evil red glow. So you see time. it from a few miles away? Yeah. I said we just camp here and then get there in the morning. Go in the daytime. Yeah. You just like having a field. I'm thinking we camp down in, what is it, building 13 again? Uh, well, we've like already gotten the dark. 30 right? or 31? We don't want to be going there while it's dark. Uh, uh, it here PC base is 30. That's one of the four Angstone idols inside. So it's getting dark now, right? Uh, it's it's night. It's it's dark. And we're still a couple miles away. Yeah. So I think we're better off camping here instead of traveling through the dark just to get to. Does anybody have a tent? If not, oh, well, we come to mine. If what? <laughs> I remember <I'm> much. <laughs> it's only when I wake up in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I think all that is bed rolls. <laughs> Uh, bed rules work. Uh, the, the sky is clear. Yeah, bed I don't see too much. The three moons are shining brightly. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. Yes, yeah, there's three moons. Yeah, we picked up bed rules for. Actually, we found like some somewhere. Some other dead adventure. If it's easier, yeah, uh, look at this. And, uh, <laughs> who has the pack of? Oh, uh, and you think the, the, that the open stars yeah. lead up. The chain mail so right, yeah, lead, lead up from here, yeah. down yeah. from here. Is that the uh, okay. Black stars lead down. Oh, box. I know. Yeah. Bag of many things. That's right. That's right. We got rid of the donkeys. We got the bag of holding, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, as far as I know, you still had the donkeys. I don't think you sold them or anything. No. Oh, that was one of the things we were planning on. Yeah, okay. We're the donkey, so we don't have to cart and ride because we're going into the dungeon now. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll say that you guys could have done that. Yeah, we'll leave them at the temple. That's fine. Uh, if, we, if we want to retcon it again, uh, he'll give you. Yeah, better rolls, yeah. He'll give you three healing potions for each donkey. The priest. Did they have? Three, like, I think we had three. Yeah, we had 12 donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> They're wandering in. They'll be, you know, just give us some potions now. They'll be in trouble. They're out grazing. Yeah. And we can always buy more donkeys. They're certainly cheaper than these potions. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, he seemed like he needed some donkeys. So, so uh, nine. Three, that's nine Cure Light potions? Mm hmm. Yeah. Everybody's primary take one, and then there's two left. Remember, remember, these guys just have main characters, so right. Uh, cure light. Yep. Uh, D cure light times D two and my amulet. I think it's D six plus one. And I got a cure serious potion. Uncle will not take one. I do have a cure serious potion. Okay, yeah, whoever has first level characters can have my uh, cure light one. Okay. So there's two extra cure light wounds floating around. Okay. And there were two extra anyway. So there, there were nine, and there's seven of us. Uh, I mean, my my uh, dwarf will take one, and, you, and the okay. my my cleric will give one of you guys okay. one because he's level two. For some reason, Grunt allows hers to go to temple because she's got a cure serious. Okay. I think there's still one floating around. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay. They got two, right? Two each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you guys. Are did they did they give you the evil mace instead of giving it to the the temple? No, okay. you sure? To the temple. Oh, okay. That was a joke. <laughs> you were about to give it to me, man. That'd be quite cute. That'd be quite humorous. <laughs> Could have been something cool. Yeah, here's a neat case for it. Just don't hit any evil guys with it. Cure evil guys, cure evil guys, cure evil guys. He hit him, looks like it hurt really hard, but somehow he must have a magical cloak, magical ammo like you do, because his wounds keep healing. <laughs> I'm wearing chainmail plus, but I don't I think it's still plus one. Uh, which, which character is that? Silverleaf. Silverleaf. I'm wearing chainmail that he picked up off of the plate. With, uh, oh, wait, so you are wearing the, the priest's chain mail he was wearing? No, he was wearing plate mail, I think. And you're, I think, did you think your dwarf took it or something? Some, I took somebody the old, somebody took I took the, I took the other stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Do you remember where that chainmail came from? Did it just off one of the bodies? The sphincter of a yeti. <laughs> All right, so you have some some questionable magic uh, chainmail. Okay. Check it out, guys. I found magic that arena chain on the map. Silver <laughs> There was another suit of magic chainmail. I don't know if we yeah. got it off of somebody or if we got it out of something. I think we might have gotten it out of a treasure chest. Is this uh, better around? So. So, so you have magic. So there's extra chainmail that's magical. Yeah. All way we didn't go to the end of. Do you want to be free with that? That's the oh, that, this is the arena. Do you want to oh, give no, some no, of it? Uh, that's what Silverleaf got. He oh, know what it is. oh, I see, I see. Okay. Up to fourteen. Up to fourteen. Dude, that gun's almost closely around. I'll take. I want to kill him. I only have weather, but I can go about it. Oh, hey, we got. Uh, let's see if we still have. I got a suit of splint. We have. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Two I, suits of spawn leather armor. <laughs> <laughs> Silverleaf took a set, right? Yeah. Uh, Silverleaf. Actually, actually, if you need if you need better armor, you're a cleric. Yeah. I got banded now. Yeah. I think you just have leather, right? Yeah. You, you got screwed on the. Yeah. You got thirty gold the gold pieces or something. Yeah, we got banded. Yeah. Yeah, because because my cleric got upgraded to plate. So you can upgrade you to banded. Banded. Uh, the book's right there. Where's it? AC3. It's uh, play no three. Oh, okay. Got yeah, bandits for. For uh. With, with shield. No. After no, after no, adventuring no. for a while, you'll figure out that it's a little bit better than chainmail, so you think it's like a plus one. Okay. All right. So after camping out in the uh, the outside, uh, you will wake up. Uh, when you wake up, you will see footprints all around where you camped. Nobody spotted them? Um, seems like small animal prints, probably about like an inch. Uh, if you guys had watch, you didn't see them. A familiar animal? Uh, I mean, does anybody recognize the prints of what kind of animals they were? You think it was ferrets. Hmm. They have ferret like print. Maybe it was like invisible. Uh, Masha, Masha, Masha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. It's bright early in the morning. You had ferret prints all the way around you, and the hill is a couple miles away. Okay. The hill we, we go. Can we tell us that temple's still giving off the any The temple does the not daylight. seem to be glowing right now. Oh, one question. Where is the little man in the emerald? What do we do with him? Oh, he's, so, he's, he's still so. in the emerald. I don't know who has him. I, I have him. Oh, okay. You, you right. pick him up every day, look at him. doesn't yeah. look like he moves. Okay. He just has that. Yeah, kind of like frozen in, frozen in an emerald book to his face. You want to do some FaceTime? I've got the uh, I've got the picture of it that I can show you. Oh yeah, it's in the <laughs> PDF. Oh, yeah. What the uh, the emerald guy? The emerald guy in the emerald guy guy in a jewel. Yeah. How did you get the PDF of it? Um, I've spent way too much money on a <laughs> European RPG, <laughs> um, and it just happened to be in there. <laughs> Just coincidentally. The, yeah, Lamentations of the Flame Princess. Nice. That was only a hundred bucks, right? In the ballpark. <laughs> For the game. It wasn't that much, but once you had to convert to euros and the whole nine yards, I don't remember what I spent on the two things. Did you get it off eBay or something? No, I bought it on the pre-sale. He has high production values, so... He used actual Finnish uh, printers instead of sending it off to some third world country. The good news is it. you get a gorgeous product. The bad news is, ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. This is it a good game? It's cool. It's like this, but like way weirder. Yeah. And that's saying something. <laughs> well, it's not weirder than Tim's version of this game. It's weirder. Than, there's a lot of extra stuff in the rules for weirdness. All the spells are really odd. Yeah, I'm just weird. Drive you insane. In nature or whatever. All right, so the hill is a. How do you know? The hill is a lot. Oh, dying. <laughs> With the sound effect.